Hey, Michael Napolitano here. Uh, just want to do this video because, you know, we're a few weeks into the new year and many agents have asked me, you know, Mike, how did you structure your day on your calendar? Well, before we get all high level and start just segmenting every minute of every waking hour of my business day and my personal day, let's get to the basics in real estate. First off, there are only four categories that generate revenue in the real estate business. Only four folks, that's as simple as it gets. Okay, number one, lead generation. Without leads, there's nothing to talk about, right? So you have to prospect for them or market to get them to call you. And then once you start working on either one of those, those pieces, prospect and marketing, you must study and practice to get better and better. Second, conversion. Once you've generated the leads, you have to be able to convert them, right? Seller meetings, buyer meetings, okay? And then you're gonna study and practice when you're out in the marketplace, right? Next, client care. I wanna talk about this one for a second because many agents will say, well, Mike, the deal's on fire, I've gotta, I've gotta handle it right now, or, or I've gotta to run to this appraisal, I've gotta to run to this engineer inspection. I get it, extremely, extremely important, but, you must not forget on a daily basis the other two things I just mentioned, lead generation and lead conversion. That's why your business looks like this because you're not doing those two consistently every single day because something got out of the way. Typically, it's some something went on fire, okay? Client care comes third. No, you're, it's not that you're putting this to the consumer third, okay? You have eight, 10 hours, whatever you decide to work per day. You got plenty of time to serve our customers, okay? so. When your client, client care is signed to close, contract to close, client care, all encompassing, right? Fourth, another fun one, personal development. Guys, I'm 20 years in the business and here's what I see out there. I see agents that are one minute in the business, don't work on, don't work on personally developing themselves and their business. Okay, one year in the business, five years, 10 years, 20 years, they think they know it all. You know that broker that says, I know it all. Why, why am I going to this training? Why am I going to this conference? What am I gonna learn from that? Why am I gonna watch this video? And here's what I've learned. The most top level agents in our industry are always learning from each other, from books, from YouTube videos, whatever it is, always personally, something that's gonna personally develop their, themselves and in their business. So consult, training, accountability. So while you're doing this personal development, if you have no accountability, again, doesn't matter, okay, all that doesn't matter. And last is masterminding. Going out there, talking to people, whether it's in market, outside your market, and talking about best practice. As I always say, there are no secrets in real estate. Most people just don't implement anything or they implement very little and or they're just not consistent with it. That's really the reason why many, many people are being held back is because of those, those keys right there. So as I wrap here, just take those four pieces, build out your schedule, stop thinking that you have to have this massive schedule that you have to just, you know, that's gonna freeze you from doing anything. Four things, lead generation, lead conversion, client care, then personal development. Guys, work on your craft, master it, serve the consumer better. I'll see you soon, bye now.